a famous Swiss mathematician Euler. He derived his equation from our well-known Newton's second law of motion, F is equal to mass times the acceleration. As force is a vector quantity, force along a direction x is the product of mass and acceleration in the direction x. In fluid flow, the force F is caused by the gravity force, pressure force, force due to viscosity, force due to turbulence, and force due to compressibility. If the force due to compressibility is negligible, the equation becomes Reynolds' equation of motion. If the force due to turbulence is also neglected, it becomes Navier-Stokes equation. If you further want to simplify it, and if you neglect the force due to viscosity, the equation becomes Euler's equation of motion. Hence, Euler's equation considers the forces due to gravity and pressure. Let's apply the Euler's equation in a fluid flow case. Consider a cylindrical element in a flow stream, where the flow takes place along this direction. Let's take the cross-section area of the cylindrical element as dA, and the length of the element as dS. If you take the pressure as P, the force acting in the direction of flow should be P times the area of the element dA. The force acting opposite to the direction of flow will have a change in pressure with respect to the length dS, it acts on the same area dA. In addition to the pressure forces, self-weight of the fluid element will also create a force. The weight is equal to mass of the element, times the gravity, where the mass is the product of density and volume of the element. In our case, the volume is dS times dA. Hence, the force due to the weight of the element is equal to rho g ds dA. Here we have considered two forces due to pressure and a force due to gravity. As this pressure force and the s directional component of the force due to gravity are opposite to the direction of flow, they should be subtracted from this force to get the net force. If you substitute the expression for F in the equation of motion, take out the PDA in common and cancel it out, you will get this relation. Take this relation as 1. Here, AS is the acceleration, which is the rate of change of velocity. As the velocity here is a function of space as well as time, by chain rule, it can be written as follows. Here, ds by dt is the velocity. And if you assume the flow is steady, the velocity will not change with respect to t. Now substitute the acceleration expression in equation 1. Now, this equation can be written as follows. Divide both sides by density. Take all the terms to the left side. As these sides are ds and dz, by trigonometry, cos theta is equal to dz by ds. Now the relation you get is the Euler's equation of motion for incompressible, inviscid, steady flow of fluid. Thank you, don't forget to subscribe.